I see what you're doing right now. Yes, you little Sims 2 Simbler or... Ma machinimer? Machinimator? A uh, person who makes Sims Machinima? You're looking at the Sims 4 Simmers with envy. Oh, I wish I could get reshade for my game. It makes their games look so beautiful with barely any effort. But alas, it crashes before we can even get into the hood. Well, stop moping. We now have a fix. That's right. Sound the alarm. Reshade now works for Sims 2. Get the fuck out of my house. What exactly is Reshade, though? Basically, Reshade is a program that lets the game itself do post-processing effects so we don't have to do as much work in the editing stage. And it makes your game look absolutely beautiful with no effort at all besides maybe a lower frame rate. Now, I'll take absolutely no credit for this fix. All credit goes to Meeping on her blog for finding the fix in the first place, and Nice Pants on Tumblr for figuring out what was going on with Reshade not recognizing the game's depth. So, with all those credits out of the way, let's get on to the tutorial. Before we actually start though, I want to give a word of caution. Reshade, as I said before, is pretty much adding post-processing effects in the game itself. As such, it more than likely will slow your game down. If your PC is older or has older hardware, it may not work as well. So just proceed with caution if you think this may affect your enjoyment. I'm mostly doing this tutorial for people like me who film and take screenshots in games, so we don't have to do as much work and thus I wouldn't recommend this if you're just planning on playing the game casually. With that out of the way, let's get on to the actual tutorial. First things first, go to reshade.me and download the latest version of Reshade. You can go ahead and put the EXE on your desktop or wherever you want. Now go ahead and run the Reshade EXE and find where your game's EXE is. For most of you, it'll be in your C drive, Program Files x86, Origin Games, The Sims 2 Ultimate Collection, Fun with Pets, SP9, TS Bin. Then click on the Sims 2 EP9.exe. Now select the little bubble that says DirectX 10 slash 11 slash 12. It will ask what effects you want. Go ahead and click uncheck all and then check all because we want all the effects. Go ahead and click through all the menus that pop up making sure all the effects are selected and then you're done. Next, go to the link in the description and download Xenos Injector from Unknown Cheats. You'll want to disable safe browsing on whatever browser you're using, turn off your antivirus, and turn off Windows Defender. It sets off a false positive for a Trojan, but don't worry, it's totally safe. I'm not going to give you all a virus. Go ahead and open the zip and go to your file explorer and go to the same place the Sims EXE is in, the TS bin. Extract the exe from the zip that doesn't have the 64 at the end into the tsbin folder. Now before we run Xenos, let's do some stuff while we're in the game's files. Right click on the dxgi.dll file and go to send to desktop create shortcut. Now go back a folder and open up tsdata res config and open your graphics rule file with notepad. Change the set I low from a 1 to a 2, and then hit Ctrl F to pull up the find tool and search for the dynamic render strategy. Uh, just dynamic render if you can't spell. And scroll down. Change any number that isn't a 0 to a 0. Finally, go ahead and save your file and close and go back to where Xenos is and run it. Change the type to a manual launch and select the process. Here you will go to the desktop and select the shortcut you have for your Sims game. Then click add and we're going to select that dxgi.dll file that we had made a shortcut for earlier and open that. The reason we made the shortcut and are using shortcuts from the desktop is because otherwise you'd have to run the exe from the folder and that would mean your game wouldn't be windowed. 
And if we didn't make a shortcut to that DLL file on the desktop, we'd have to go all the way back to the TS bin just to get that file. Finally, hit inject and open up your game. Now it should work, but if you get an error like this, go ahead and just open up Task Manager and force quit the game and redo the selecting of the game for the DLL. For some reason, mine does this a lot, so if yours does it, don't worry, it's normal I guess. You just maybe have to reselect your game or re-add the DLL. Now, after it injects properly, you'll know because you'll see the reshade notification at the top, let the game load through and open up one of your hoods. Before you do anything though, go to graphic settings and turn smooth edges all the way down. Smooth edges for some reason makes reshade not detect depth points in your game, so if you use any effect that would use depth, such as depth of field or some bloom effects, it would turn out glitchy. But turning smooth edges off fixes that. And don't worry about how your game looks like crap. Not only can Reshade fix this, but I'll go over how to get it looking better if you have a Nvidia graphics card. Now you can hit the home button and use Reshade to your liking. If I may suggest first though, I go to settings and change how you open the Reshade menu as home is already bound to your wall up option. Personally, I use shift and question mark as it doesn't affect anything in game. Now you can make presets or download ones. In fact, here's a quick tutorial on how to install a preset. Find the preset you like online. <coughs> like this beautiful one <coughs> I made specifically <coughs> for The Sims 2. <coughs> Link in the description. <coughs> You will open the zip and take the DLL and just put in your TS bin. That's it. Then once you get back in your game, open up the reshade menu and at the top select whatever reshade you got. You can also test out and fiddle with the ones made for The Sims 4, but note they require a lot of fiddling as they were made for a completely different game. You can fiddle with the different settings in mine as well. Mine includes some keybinds so you can turn off things like lens flares and depth of field easily. Just press the forward slash key on the numpad for depth of field, and then press the star key on the numpad for bloom and lens flares. I specifically bound this one because if you don't turn off lens flare before you open the menu or anything, you may, uh... <laughs> Of course, if you're filming something that takes place at night, you may want to turn off just the lens flares but leave the bloom, which you can do by opening up your reshade menu, turn performance mode off, and scroll to the bloom filter and turn off these two lens flares. Then when you want them back on again, just stick the two boxes again. Easy. Now with depth of field, it's a little more complicated, but hopefully I can explain it right and hopefully my preset makes it easy to understand. First, you're going to want to check this show overlay of depth checkbox. Now, when you change the autofocus point, these two pink lines will show up. From there, you can choose where on the screen you want it to focus. And if you want it to go back to focusing on just what's on center frame, go ahead and right click and click reset to default. Then you can mess with things like the focal length and the aperture. Pretty much anything in gray is where it'll start getting out of focus and anything in blue is where the focus will start. You can even mess with how much you want the stuff to blur with the far and near plane max blur settings. Then once you're done setting up your focus, uncheck the overlay option and switch back to performance mode. Yeah, uh, also tip, be sure to switch back to performance mode anytime you're done tweaking settings. Your graphics card will thank you later. Oh right, and finally, how to fix the smooth edges. Now this is just for NVIDIA cards, so if you don't have a NVIDIA graphics card, I suggest looking up a tutorial on a similar sort of fix for your particular card. Moving on though, once you're out of your game, right click on your desktop and open up NVIDIA control panel. On the right, you want to go to manage 3D settings, and then click on program settings. From there, go to add and choose the Simsu EP9.exe from the TS bin. And then change all your anti-aliasing settings to the highest they can go. Yours may be lower or higher than mine depending on your card, but it's fine, I have a bit of an overkill PC for a 16 year old game. Then go ahead and hit apply. And of course, my preset includes the FXAA and MSAA effects so it can smooth it out even more. Now anytime you want to run with reshade and have a beautiful game, all you have to do is click inject and run your game. Um, I believe that's it. 
Wow, I'm horrible at outros. Um, I guess if you liked the video, leave me a like and if you have any questions, go ahead and comment. I'll try and respond, but Google doesn't like giving me notifications, so sorry if I don't see it till weeks later. And go ahead and subscribe as I'm doing a part 2 to my fixes for Windows 10 soon, but also so you can check out my series. I'm still working hard on it, and hey, if you want a voice act for it, I'll leave a link to the Casting Call Club page in the description. Thanks for watching, hope you have fun with my preset, bye!